In this video, we'll take a look at the nth term test for divergence for a series. So this is a very important test. Uh, it's always the first one you should try when you're testing series for convergence or divergence. And it's uh, usually it's the first one you should try because it's usually going to be the easiest or the quickest. Uh, but it's also very, very important to remember how this test works. So let's say um, if we have a series sum from n equals 1 to plus infinity of a sub n. We want to test this for a convergence or divergence. So the nth term test for divergence says if the limit as n goes to positive infinity of the sequence a sub n, okay, of the sequence a sub n does not equal 0, then the series, the sum from n equals 1 to positive infinity of a sub n diverges. or does not converge. Okay, So if you take the limit of just the sequence and you find out that it does not equal 0, then we can say the series diverges. Now we have to be very, 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 very careful because if limit as n goes to positive infinity of a sub n equals 0, uh, many people at first are tempted to say, well then, hey, that means it converges, the series converges. Well, no, it actually doesn't mean that. Okay, what this means is that the sequence converges. The sequence a sub n converges to zero, but the series, we don't know. It actually might converge or it might diverge. Then uh, we don't know. We don't know uh, if the sum from n equals one to positive infinity of a sub n converges or diverges. Okay, so uh, some quick examples here. So let's take a look at the series, uh, the sum from n equals 1 to positive infinity of 1 over n. Okay, so this is called the harmonic series. So this is the harmonic series. And it's the uh, very famous series uh, where the limits of the sequence a sub n is 0, but this series actually, the series itself diverges. Okay, um, so here if we look at the limit as n goes to positive infinity, of a sub n, well that's just the limit as n goes to positive infinity of 1 over n, which we know is just 0, right? That's totally just 0. So here, limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n is 0, but this series diverges. Okay, so just knowing this is not enough to say that the series converges. Now again, the sequence converges. The sequence a sub n from n equals 1 to positive infinity Okay, that uh, sequence converges, and another way to write that sequence is uh, 1, comma, 1 half, comma, 1 third, comma, 1 fourth, comma, dot, dot, dot. Okay, that sequence converges to 0. However, the series, the series, which is 1 plus 1 half, plus 1 third, plus 1 fourth, plus dot, 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 uh, actually is just positive infinity. Okay, it diverges. Uh, this, this, basically, the a sub n, they don't go to 0 quickly enough. Okay. So that's why the series diverges, because the a sub n, they do go to 0, but not quickly enough. OK, now let's see another example. Um, so in this other example here, let's get rid of this. And we'll look at a, take a look at another example here. So let's take a look at this series, the sum, whoops. The sum from n equals 1 to positive infinity of 1 over n squared. Okay, this actually does converge, and we'll talk about how to we'll talk about in future videos how to determine whether this converges or not. But this actually does converge. But notice uh, this: if we do the limit as n goes to positive infinity of a sub n, in this case, okay, here this is our a sub n, one over n squared. If we find that limit this time, one over n squared. Well, hey, that's again just zero. Okay, so the limit of the sequence here is zero, but this actually does converge. Uh, and it converges to pi squared over 6. Okay, just a uh, side little fun fact there, it converges to pi squared over 6. Um, to actually find this value, it's a, a little difficult. It requires some math that's more advanced than Calculus 2. Uh, but using Calculus 2 techniques, you can actually show that this does converge, but it requires a little more advanced math to show the actual value. Okay, so we don't really have to worry so much about the value, but the point is that this series does converge to a finite value pi squared over 6. And this series over here does not converge to a finite value. It diverges to positive infinity. OK, 
Okay, but the point is that the limit of this sequence is zero, and the limit of this sequence is zero. However, this series does not converge, this series does diverge. So these two examples show that just because you know this, well, that doesn't actually tell you anything. The series might converge or it might diverge, we don't know. In this case, the series diverges, in this case, the series converges. So be very careful about that. Now, but still, the main point of the nth term test is to tell you, well, hey, if you do the limit and you get something that's not zero, then uh, you can immediately say the series diverges, okay? So let's see an example of that. So we'll erase some of this, erase some of that. Actually, let's just get rid of this over here. Okay, so let's take a look at, oops, keep doing that. Take a look at the sum from n equals one to positive infinity of n minus one over n plus one, okay? And I do want to point out, I don't remember if I actually said in this video, but we're starting all of our series from one. It doesn't really matter. We can start from wherever we want. We don't have to start at one. We can start at zero uh, or two or three or really anywhere we want, as long as it doesn't give us something bad. Like here, we can't have n equals negative one, okay? But usually n represents zero or positive numbers anyway. So just a little side detail there. Um, even though all of this stuff is expressed in terms of n starting at one, it doesn't have to be the case, and can start at really any number, um, and this will all still hold. So anyway, um, let's. So here's our a sub n this time. So this time our a sub n is n minus one over n plus one. So let's take a look at the limit. So the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n, in this case, is uh, the limit as n goes to infinity of n minus one over n plus one, and this is, uh, so remember, this is very similar to the limit as x goes to positive infinity of x minus one over x plus one, which we know from calculus one techniques that this just equals one. Okay, so even though we have n's here instead of x's, uh, that doesn't change a single thing, so this limit is still one. So what do we just find out? Well, we just found out that the limit as n goes to infinity of uh, the sequence, okay, the sequence a sub n is not zero, it actually equals one. So the sequence converges, okay, the sequence does converge, but it converges to one, which is not zero. Therefore, the series diverges. So what we just found out was that uh, the series, the series diverges. Oops. Okay, the series diverges. So the sum from n equals one, whoops, the sum from n equals one to positive infinity of uh, n minus one over n plus one, this diverges because this limit of the sequence is one, which is not zero. So that's how the nth term test for divergence could be useful. So again, take the limit as n goes to infinity of the sequence, and if you get something that isn't zero, okay, so if you get uh, some finite number that's not zero, or if the sequence itself diverges, then the series diverges automatically. We can automatically say that. So that's why the nth term test is really the first one you want to use, because it's going to be the quickest. Um, most of the time, it'll be the quickest and the easiest one to use. So this here was very quick. We just took this quick limit here, saw that equals one. Now, there are other ways. Uh, I believe there are other ways that we could test the series for convergence or divergence. But uh, if they do work, then they're going to be much more complicated than this. So always keep this in the back of your mind. And remember that um, this is how the nth term test for divergence is used. Okay. Take the limit of the sequence. If you get something that isn't zero, then the series diverges. If you take the limit of the sequence and you get zero, then you can't say anything at all. You might have a convergent series or you might have a divergent series. Uh, very, very important. Make sure to always keep that in mind. Okay, so that's the nth term test for divergence.